Hi guys, Freddy here, back with Adam. Right, this is going to be a new series. RPG Game has been about all sorts of things gaming. We've gone over the retro RPGs, we've gone over top fives, and one of the ideas I had was on Gamer Snacks. Now, there's no point in going on about salt and vinegar crisps or chips, as you call them in America, because you all know what those taste like. But it's coming up to Christmas, and Walkers, one of the biggest brands in the UK, has released a range of Christmas crisps. And we thought we'd give them a try. We haven't tasted any of them. Have you tasted? Nope. We haven't tasted any of them, so you're going to be getting our first reactions. Hopefully we'll like some. So, they've brought out two multi-packs. We have the Walker's Sprout Lovers, which has turkey and stuffing, Brussels sprout, and pigs in blankets. And we have the Christmas Dinner for Sprout Haters, which is glazed ham, turkey and stuffing, and cranberry mm -hmm. and cheese. Yeah, well, turkey and stuffing is in both, so yeah, if, we're not going to try it twice. If you hate it or love it, you like it. <laughs> okay, so... Sprout haters first? Yeah. Okay. We'll build up to the, <laughs> the, the sprout lovers. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not a sprout lover. I'm not a sprout lover. Okay, what's our first one we have? A turkey, turkey and, and stuffing! <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, I'm going to have a smell first. Yeah. It smells roast chickeny to me. It smells like roast chicken. Okay. Okay, Peace. it's just roast chicken. Yeah. I am Did not... they just pack it with roast chicken inside the potato? I am not getting any stuffing there at all. I'm going to try a second one. Oh, a second two, apparently. I'll try a second one again as well. So, I'm afraid if you're looking for something a bit different, turkey and stuffing is just chicken. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what we got next? More. We have cheese and cranberry. Okay, I like cheese crisps. I, I love do not. cranberry sauce. I do not like either. <laughs> so, it's, you're gonna go mm mm, and I'm gonna go uh oh. <laughs> that is cheesy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is sweaty feet to the extreme. <laughs> you're having a tiny drop. I actually think that's really quite pleasant. The smell was overwhelming and the quite horrible. The smell was horrible, but that's actually all right. They've got a sort of cheesy flavour to them. Definitely. With a subtle edge of the cranberry sauce sweetness. Yeah. They are surprisingly all right. Trees and cranberry. Um. The smell originally was really, really oh, cheesy. Pudding. It was quite disgusting. But they're pl pleasant. I wouldn't say I would buy them. Yeah. Oh. There's other flavours I definitely prefer just on the shelf, but they were all right. Yeah. Okay, right. So we are looking for glazed ham next. Do we have glazed ham? We have glazed ham. They've got them we organised lucky. lovely. <laughs> now. Yeah. Glazed ham. This is going to be bacon. This is just going to be ham. This is just going to be pig. Okay. Sniff. Hmm. That's... Like more that, yeah, that's honey. sweetie... Uh, sweeter than bacon. It's... They're really quite pleasant. I'm, one of my favourite flavours is smoky bacon, but they've got, again, a slightly sweet edge to them. Yeah, glazed ham, that's really quite pleasant, I have to say. Um, they are not bad at all. Okay, sprout lovers. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. let's hope. Oh, that's the first one you're going to get. Turkey and stuffing. stuffing. Throw we'll it out. throw that to the side. I... Pigs in blankets. Oh, now, no. I, I expected this to be very much 
bacon. like the glazed pan, the bacon. Pretty much, but that tasted a lot different than I thought it would taste. So this might taste like oh, I thought that would taste. first. I don't know what this smells sausage. of. Sausage. I think that smells of mm. sausage. I don't really smell the bacon, I smell mm -hmm. the sausage. I don't, I don't really recognise that as smelling like sausage. Yeah, very peculiar. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Not very. They're not very bacony. They're not very. They're not really sausage -y. anything. Sausagey. It's kind of. It's a slightly, almost chemical taste. Yeah, I would say. It's very artificial. Yeah. It's very artificial. Very weird. Okay, out of the Walker selection, we now have this. The I final will. one. Ah, Brussels sprouts. So, <laughs> let's see. This, we do not like Brussels sprouts. I really don't. My wife and my eldest son absolutely adore Brussels sprouts, <laughs> so we have tons of them in the house over Christmas, and I'm afraid I don't like the smell, I don't like the taste. It just smells green. It's not very Brussels sprouty, just green. Yeah, it's, it's again, it's not a very sprouty smell. Because I'm afraid sprouts to me smell like fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> My first bite, I didn't think these, those were very bad. <laughs> I thought those were actually going to be all right. They were so, so far. I. They were so far away from tasting like sprout that I thought, ah, that's all right. It's just generic vegetable flavour. Yeah. But no, it's it's Satan's underwear. You're still gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it comes back to get you. Okay. As well as the Walker's we range. We should have got, got some water. <laughs> I actually meant to put glasses aside for us, but I totally forgot. We were so busy trying to get the lighting right because it's a bit dark. I usually film during the day, so the sunlight beaming into the room. But we're under totally artificial light at the moment because it's, what, nine o'clock at night? Half eight. Half mm -hmm. past eight. Mm -hmm. um, we're under artificial light, so it looks a bit murky. But as well as the Walker's Crisps, while I was in my local supermarket, a co-op, as will be obvious, they had some other Christmas flavours. And um, being a bit of a skinflint, I wasn't willing to pay more than a pound for each. But we have, let's try these ones first. We have co-op turkey and stuffing legs. Turkey and stuffing legs. Now, the picture on the packet, if I hold them up sort of close, is like a sort of maize uh, treat. I can't think what crystal like then. You get the sort of griddle ones. You're still suffering from the sprout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to get out of my teeth. <laughs> mm. Generic sort of yeah. chicken again? Yeah. Um. Ah. The the quality of the snack is really nice. The um, is yeah. it corn or is it maize? I can't see. Oh, I did not like that aftertaste. Um, it, was, it was all right until that aftertaste. That aftertaste. Yeah, I can't see what these are made out of. It doesn't really say clearly, but the quality of the maize or the snack itself it's really is really good. Yeah, it's a lovely crisp, Crunch. um, crunchy snack. But it's just so bland. It's bland chickeny, but I hate that aftertaste. It is, me, and I did not like it. It is just cooked chicken. It's not got yeah. any other flavour to it. I'm not picking up any stuffing, stuffing. any sausagey or oniony taste. Uh huh. It's none. That is a massive disappointment. I expected those to be quite nice. Look at that. I thought they'd be a bit stronger, but yeah. those are quite disappointing. We'll chuck them to the side. We'll put them to the side. I'll be taking them down to the rest of the family later. 
So they can turn up their nose and go, Ugh, they're horrible. Mm, yeah. And we Except now have. Except on a sprout Brussels. And we have co op smoky bacon and sausage tortilla rolls. I have no idea what these will be. Who knows? Doritos with bacon and sausage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pigs in blanket Doritos. Pigs in blanket Doritos. Okay, first. Now. Again, I'm not really getting the smell I mean, that they say. It just smells like... I don't know what that smells like. What does that smell like? I have no idea. It just kind of smells like a big mess of something. Very artificial flavour. Just kind of just crunchy. They're very crunchy. Something's hitting the back of my throat. I don't know what it is, but it's making me gag. I have no idea what it is. Okay. Now, the co-op ones, which I thought were going to be our grand finale. Finale. We were going to have fantastic crisps to finish off after the rather Random. strange range of Walker's crisps. But, no, those nah. have both been letdowns. Massive. Okay. To rate the crisps. Or oh, what was the worst one? Definitely the Brussels sprouts. The Brussels sprouts was the worst. It was terrible. I would give it a 2 out of 10. <sighs> or 1 out of 10. It, it was vile. Um, 1 out of 10. As I said, the smell didn't smell very sprouty at first. So I thought it was going to be alright. Yeah. But the aftertaste was just pure evil. Um, they deserve to be burnt. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be killing the ozone layer. <laughs> I'm afraid the ozone layer can cope for itself if we can destroy all Brussels sprout crisps. <laughs> yeah. Now, trying to rate the rest. The co-op ones, I would say, come just above the sprout. I would say they're three. Uh, three. I would say the smoky bacon were three out of ten and the turkey and stuffing were just four. Four or five. They were the smoking five. bacon and sausage are nothing like smoky bacon and sausage. The quality of the tortillas themselves are really nice. They're yeah. probably better than Doritos quality. They're nice yeah. and crispy, Crunch. but um, the flavour was nowhere. There was nothing special. Yeah. Likewise, the turkey and stuffing legs. The quality of the snack was delicious. I will probably finish those off for the lovely feeling as they melt in yeah. your mouth and they crunch away mm -hmm. but there is no flavor it's a very bland cooked chicken flavor there's yeah. no spice or excitement to it um i would expect something from stuffing because you get the sausage meat you get mm -hmm. the onion in it and it's quite pleasant but nothing there I was would, nothing in there i think just above those two would be six out of ten the turkey turkey and stuffing walkers crisps they okay, tasted I'm very gonna... similar but had more slightly more taste yeah i'm just I gonna try another bit yeah they're a bit stronger chicken they've got a load more flavor than the turkey and stuffing legs and are pleasant enough mm -hmm. if you like chicken crisps they're really quite pleasant Okay, now you go. where have we got? Pigs in blankets, I think, probably come next. I... Notice I keep been picking at them because we've eaten so many that I'm forgetting what they taste like. <laughs> I would... I just don't... Oh, mind your That would have been bad. That's bad. Earthquake! <laughs> <laughs> or him kicking the table. One of the two. Um, My incompetence. I I say the pigs and blankets and the cla glazed ham, clay glazed. glazed sorry, uh, come at eight out of ten, and the cheese and cranberry come at seven. I do not like cheese, but it was good. It had a very uniqueness to its sweet. Yeah. With cheese and cranberry. Um, I put the pigs and blankets at seven on Adam's scale, and I put the glazed ham and cheese and cranberry at eight. They're fairly pleasant. Um, I might buy them if I saw them on the shelves by themselves, but they're not amazing. They don't stand out. Um, I'd probably just rather have salt and vinegar. Yeah, some of the average ones. I'd rather have a packet of smoky bacon. 
I'll mm. be completely honest. If there's smoky bacon on the shelf, I'll have them. Thank you very much. You think so? Definitely over like these. A nine or ten out of ten. <laughs> Love me smoky bacon crisps. That doesn't <laughs> he loves prawn cocktail. Um, and that's it. That's us tried a bunch of crisps, found that they definitely weren't worth the money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like seeing idiots tasting bad crisps. But most of all, you look after yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.